Hello everybody, Sift here again with another Heretics Foreground, the roguelike bullet heaven, bullet hell, tower defense card game that also has a weird interactive story going on. And uh, yeah, from the last time I got a pet on the interactive story part, but for today we're gonna do a run trying to do a specific run with a specific character. Now, I said I wanted to play the money guy, but this guy is already pretty weird and I like it, but because I'm gonna restrict myself to a specific run, I'm gonna play with Danny Fox here which uh, is gonna help us out with powering up the deck so let's go into this and hopefully get a good run now i want to use a specific weapon the unholy mg so if i don't get it right away here on this first reroll we didn't get it give me a second to actually try this a couple more times until i get the thing i want and this is literally my next attempt, so I just got it. Let's go, this is the tower. Fast firing machine gun tower deals unholy damage. Now there is an achievement that says use only this tower. So that's why I want to do this. And time to go with what this character does. So this character re-rolls your hand unless you have already played something. And you can use tactics like, for example, keep this in here and then re-roll this one card. But right now I don't really want to do that because I don't know what else cards are gonna appear. So for now we're gonna go with unholy MG, in my opinion and then also attack range now this unholy mg tower here let's actually end the turn to so that the game plays now this unholy mg here uh only gets damage range attack speed and then also unholy damage and critical hit chance so more specifically i want to invest into damage and attack speed if possible range is also really helpful because it increases the dps overall but i've played this before and i can tell you you mainly want to be able to clear out everything in your zone and not specifically cover the whole screen so uh, let's see what we got we got uh, garrison stuff, which is instantly gonna get binned into something else. Okay, we found the healing thing, the healing spell. Do I want it? I mean, I definitely want some kind of spell. So I would say just take this. Cooldown spell spells useless, and we can leave it there. And we can reroll these, for example, because I haven't seen... Yeah, I don't want to really play this. Let's reroll this and see what we can get. And we found enlightened, and enlightened is a very big aspect of this character. So... What does this do? Increase the number of cards that are displayed in the correct order when opening the deck. So right now, if I play this, boom, I can see that the next card specifically is going to be Praise B, draw two cards. And that's important because I can use and abuse mechanics here to uh, specifically get what I want. I'm going to explain better in a moment. So first of all, banish rock because this is a bad rock. Might as well throw it away. And let's go with the spell that heals us 10%. And let's play and see how this is gonna go now this tower here is a machine gun tower so as you see it's doing seven 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 sevens the idea being of course that it does small amounts of damage but very fast so that it doesn't overkill opponents that's the upside of now the downside is of course that it does small amounts of damage on other night and draw cards let's see what there is rock is incoming so i would say the following i would say we plays we praise enlighten and praise me most likely yeah let's let's play enlighten this is a upgrade turn so now i can see the two next cards I think you don't need to see more than two next cards. Maybe three, maybe three, but I would say two is the most important. And uh, let's go praise B because two rocks are incoming. And let's combine the rocks that don't matter to us. I don't know. Here we go. These are all useless. Let's combine with the attack range. It creates a squad of shooters in the target location. Units do unholy damage. Yeah, might as well. And I don't have mana, but there is a little bug going on right now where you can keep the thing there so we're gonna end the turn and keep it on the upgrade panel that's obviously most likely gonna get nerfed but who knows who knows i will be an unholy build so that card is useful for us and the idea with this character that is that you re you go through your deck a lot faster than the rest of the characters do so you can min max on combining stuff and you can min max on getting specifically cards that you want at any specific moment these are all useless might as well take whatever i'm gonna combine it with something else regardless let's see what we get William G is here. So first of all, I'm gonna combine the rocks. Always start combining first and then see what you're gonna do. If I have armor, card draw. I mean, this is good, but right now it's useless. So let's send those up too. Increase tower damage by 30%, decrease garrison damage by 20. This is really, really good builder. Three, uh, three cost. So I would say we play, we keep the three cost there and play these two. Now I can allow this to rotate. Let's play the unholy MG. What's the next card? Hemorrhage, that's useless. Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna play the Unholy MG guaranteed, and we're also gonna play the 30% damage. We definitely need to increase our damage as fast as possible, if possible. Because these towers, the, the one downside they have is they don't do a lot of damage, so we definitely, definitely need to play anything that has to do with increasing the damage of the towers. Because we want these machine gun effects to instantly kill opponents when they appear. Like, we want them to be doing a thousand damage per pop and be like, ta 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 ta, everything instantly dies. Let's definitely combine the rocks. 
Uh, we found a spell that makes opponents slow down. Honestly, this is not that crazy of a spell, but I would like to get all the spells done so I don't have to deal with them. Do not find them again. So I guess we got that going. And let's combine these two because they are mediocre. Money. Not really my thing right now. Let's leave it there. What's the next card? We don't even see. I guess we can play the Stra. You know what? I would like to find better stuff. Let's reroll both of those. Nice. We found on Holy MG. And we also found card draw. And we found this. Very nice. Very nice. So I can now praise B. Boom. Draw two cards. Get the spell out of the deck. Play the Unholy MG. But perfect. And remove the Hellfire stone because the game is going to add more stones anyway. We're going to hear you see. Boom, boom, boom. We're getting stones right now. Let's see. My dog is barking. Give me a second because I have to bring the dog in the house. Is the game still playing? Oh, no. Well, if the game is playing, then the dog is just going to stay outside of the house for one more hour. I don't know. <clears throat> Maybe it's going to stop barking at some point. Let's go. By the way, you see we're doing 9 damage and then on the on the upgraded version we're doing 19 instead of 18. That's because, you know, percentage-based stuff is working like that. 3% damage is just here. Attack speed 10, 1%. I do enjoy that. Let's combine those. By the time you play 4 cards in a single turn, I mean, these are all useless. Might as well keep it in the side. What is the next card? Enlighten is incoming, but I'm not going to be able to play it. So I'm thinking to just play the builder and that's it. Play the builder, play the attack speed. And just end the turn. Attack speed rock might as well. I mean, 1% attack speed is such a joke. 1% attack speed is an extremely joke because the attack speed card gives you like 15 or 20% based on what level it is. So 1% is very, very, very low. Let's also get my little units up. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah, nice. They do 3 damage. I mean, they they should... Oh, this is a garrison unit, theoretically. So we are gonna they're going to do no damage whatsoever for after a while. Let's see how good we are destroying elites. Oh, we melted them. Nice, nice, nice. We're really good. Reveal the three middle cards. Well, that one would have been better, but it doesn't matter. Let's get to two costs. We're going to combine them anyway. It's better than Vox, in my opinion. So let's go on. Luck and that tower damage. Oof. I increase your chance to get higher quality cards whenever drawing cards from click. These are both good. I'm going to go with 100% tower damage because this is going to protect us from a weak start. This literally gives you a strong start here. Although luck is also good. We found the spell. First of all, we're going to start combining stuff. I'm inclined to say we play the Enlighten and the Struggle, but for now, let's just combine things and see what we get. These are all useless. Discard all cards in hand and draw for new cards. Must be the first card played. Maybe. I'm going to leave it there. Uh, what's incoming? Two rocks are incoming. Okay, then I'm going to say we play the Enlighten. No! No, I wanted to have them in the side. I wanted to do this. Put them both in the side. We roll these. Mistakes were made. Uh, it is what it is. Give me actually a sec. I, I'm bringing the dog in the house. I knew it. I knew it. It already got tired and left the left the door. It is like somewhere in the lawn. I don't know. <clears throat> anyway, let's go. Let's continue. I'm so sad that I didn't min-max that previous uh, roll there. It, it would have been really helpful to min-max that, but it is what it is. The, the idea with this character is you need to min-max as much as possible. Let's see what the cards incoming are. Rocks. So, first of all, combine rocks. Okay, nothing of value. So here I'm going to say that you go in the side and, I mean, a rock's incoming in the first place. Yeah, well, draw the rocks. Play the rocks, not the attack speed one. Play this and this, see what we get. Useless, combine it with the four curve. I'm not going to play that anyway. Attack speed, let's go, let's go. 15% attack speed and 1% attack speed. Let's go. Attack speed is really, really, really important. We need to be attacking as fast as humanly possible because, yeah, I mean, yes, it has a good attack speed, but it can be even better, right? As you see in, in the normal attack speed, you see it's visible. I want this. You see this visual effect here? It needs to look like this on the normal speed. When I'm playing on this speed, it, it needs to look like this. So that's the idea here. We want them to attack extremely fast. Okay, we found the money thing, but I don't really want it. And Holy MG is also here. Uh, I would say we play these two most likely. And if that's the case, what's the next card? We don't know what the next card are. We're going to roll it into hoping that it's going to be two rocks. It's Enlighten and a rock. Well, Enlighten is no longer needed, but I can't really do anything with it. So we're going to go on Holy MG, 30% damage, and attack speed. Now, these garrison units, yeah, they are doing two damage now. <laughs> this is a useless spell for us. And let's also slow down opponents. Oh, I've got hit heavily. We have healing anyway. Yeah, the garrison units are completely useless. This target summon thing, completely useless at this point. It just exists. It's just summoning some stuff. These are useless. Let's get a 3 cost. Just so that I can combine them with the rest. 
one fifteen percent attack speed and the redraw the whole hand. I'm not gonna redraw my whole hand. You can see the next three a card resin coming into rocks. So I would say you stay. Card draw into rocks. I mean, yeah, might as well. Ah, no, no, no. Might as well go through the deck is the main idea here. So we're gonna wait, wait. I get this. Okay, look at this. I get this. I'm thinking about how to exactly do this. So if I get this in the side. Nah, uh, let's go with... No, nah, let's go with this. So I'm gonna redraw these. Draw one of the stones. Uh, combine the stones now. By the way, we randomly draw this. That's extremely lucky. That's useless for us. I'll combine the three cost with the three cost. Because I'm never gonna play that. Attacks with 200%. Let's go. Let's go. Whenever you use a card, 10% chance to draw a card. No, no, no. We're gonna go here. Attacks with 200%. Boom. 50% attack speed is also useless at this point. Into in. Nice. So attack speed 20%. I should play that whenever I get the chance to. Attack speed is really important. We have very low level towers here, which is really bad. But after we're done with this zone, I'm most likely going to get another tower slot. So we will be able to get a couple more. Unless I get 100% on holy damage as a choice. 20% attack speed very nice. I'm not going to play that yet. Incoming is praise be and enlighten. Enlighten I think is useless at this point. We already are seeing three cards and I'm never going to draw like four cards. And let's not forget that every time I draw cards, I can just recheck and draw again. So do I want praise B? I'm thinking we keep this and this. Yeah, leave the rocks be, whatever. Draw them back. And now combine these two. Range, nice. Range is actually good for this weapon. What's the next card incoming? A rock and attack speed. But we're going to guaranteed play this and this and if i play praise b might as well play the attack speed rock yeah, yeah yeah let's do this play the attack speed rock and i'm also going through the deck fast right because i don't want to play this and i want to play this guaranteed and this so i really enjoy how this is going i really enjoy how we can just go through the deck fast and just get going what we want to get going i really hope i'm gonna get the achievement by the way because the achievement is to use only on holy mg for damage and i think this card that targeted someone might actually not allow us to get the achievement i'm not sure okay what's incoming dark pike so that's a blue mm, i can't really do anything here this is useless i guess i'm gonna try my best let's have these in the side roll those we got the 20 percent attack speed which is better in my opinion than the 30 percent damage combine those 20 percent attack speed and an unholy mg and this green unholy mg is okay i guess Let's go. I want to obviously get more stuff going. I'm gonna most likely be stuck with one purple and one blue. And let's see how fast we DPS them down. Yeah, because the pets don't do anything. Uh, we're good. We're good. We 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 have a decent DPS here. Nice. Three middle ones because why not? Four tier four. Let's go tier four and tier three. I'm gonna start combining these with other stuff. Really nice that this character starts with more hellfire and garrison useless. We're gonna go more items so and more more towers therefore i can now actually start combining into a uh, legendary i need more of those by the way definitely combine those see what we get monkey spawn that's actually good for us it destroys the next card in your deck increase tower and garrison damage by 20 percent that's nice because i can literally check what it is it's a stone now the question is do i want to combine higher tier stuff card was income range is incoming and card is a bit later First of all, attack speed is getting played. I'm thinking I can literally discard my hand right now to get this hand. Which is instead of 15% attack speed, get 15 range and then draw two cards. And these two cards are going to be these two cards. Now these two cards are useless, but this can combine with this. And then whatever these are can combine with this. So it's a bit of a very YOLO play. It removes half the things from the deck. But I want to do it. So we're going to re-roll all my hand. Draw two cards, which are going to be these two. And now I can... This style, this is like, banish that. And now we can 3 plus 3. Okay, we didn't get anything useful. Let's play Unholy just to play with our luck a little bit. Come on. No, that's useless. Wow, we just threw a lot of things in the bin. And this is completely useless for us, so we're gonna even bin it. 5% of the Hellfire damage I do, which is none. I don't do Hellfire damage. I'm gonna banish that. You cannot combine legendaries. I've tested two legendaries, don't do anything in combination so that was very unlucky we just wasted a bunch of resources and didn't even play anything it is what it is that uh, that's part of the game when you play gambling but uh yeah let's hope we're gonna now somehow bounce back i haven't found damage by the way which is really really sus 
50% damage. That's the only damage I'm using. 20% tax speed's also incoming. So I would say we keep this and throw these all out. So that I can get the 30% damage and the attack speed. But I cannot play both. So I would like to only draw this. I, I take back my plan. Let's combine those. We got range. Doesn't really matter. So now I can get draw these two. I would like to draw only one of them. But that doesn't make sense. Play the Unholy MG guaranteed. Wait, 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 wait. We cannot play this. I want the 30% damage. So you stay. And this is the damage rock. So I'm going to send both of them off. Get the Unholy MG. 30% damage and 2% damage. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Continue gaining damage. Damage is really important. I would like to have a second Unholy MG be in my deck. So that I can quickly combine those towers. Because I'm seeing opponents don't really go down that fast. We're getting hit here. We did not get hit. Nice. Uh, Dark Fight. Let's see what's incoming. Monkey Spy is incoming and a rock. So I would say we draw... I would say we draw, so we combine the monkey spawn and the rock. But first I would like to use my ability, which I can't. I want to get rid of this, that's what I'm thinking. I mean, this is going to give us a lot of money right now, because I'm seeing a bunch of opponents. So I would say, forget the monkey spawn. I can just... Yeah, I would say we just play this and this. And combine the monkey spawn. So we go, attack speed. Kill everything on the board. A single thing didn't die, so that was a useless play. Roll two cards. Combine these two. See what we get. Increase the tower damage by 30%. Decrease garrison by 20 and removes itself from the deck. Might as well. Give attack speed. Pass. Might as well. Continue gaining the damage boost that we so desperately need. I mean, all of these opponents are already pre-hit, so... We're gonna get hit by these boys. Too many of them are here. Ah, uh, no. We actually destroy everything that's on the board. Nice. We seem to be very powerful. Get on holy damage. Maybe we're gonna get a second one of these. Okay. So I'm gonna definitely play that. Let's see what's incoming. Attack speed 20% is incoming. So I could draw that. Definitely this gets binned. Let's combine here. See what we get. Another monkey's paw. I could play the monkey's paw to bin the 15% attack speed. I think I want the 30% damage. So, let's say I keep this, I reroll these three, I draw one, two, three, I play this one. But is that useful? Or I do this, I draw the three percent and combine them. That's what I'm gonna do. So, well in this vein I would also like to combine these. Yeah, that, that doesn't make sense. Combine these. Combine these. Yes, on Holy MG Blue I'm gonna take this. Uh, that skips pretty much a level. Well, if that's not what we have, we're gonna go here. What's incoming? Attack speed's incoming. That's also not gonna get played. Well, we play the Unholy MG. Combine. Play the Unholy MG. Play 30% damage. And let that rotate into the deck. So we pretty much skip the level here with the Unholy MG. Skip two levels, I guess. So now we increase our DPS by a decent amount. We need to get more green Unholy MGs so I can start combining and combining and playing and playing and combining and playing. Okay, attack speed's here. Let's see what's incoming. Card draw's incoming. Damage is incoming. Unholy MG is also incoming. So I would say we keep this. We draw three cards. But then with the Praise B, I'm not gonna get the Unholy MG. Yeah, that's not a thing, really. Forget that. Yeah, forget that. Let's go here. This is useless. I would say we keep you. And yeah, we're gonna just switch now. One card. Boom. I'm gonna play these two. 20% attack speed and 30% damage. And there is still the bug where you can keep the thing that you combined as a retainer in the corner, so we're gonna also do that. And now my pets do nothing. <laughs> they do zero damage. My uh, my garrison squad. Yeah, look, <laughs> they're not doing anything. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm not gonna spawn these anymore. There is no reason to. I really hope that this is not gonna be a, a reason why I'm not getting the achievement at the end. I really hope not. Let's see what's incoming. We cannot even see what's incoming. That's really bad. Well, I'm going to combine range and this. Draw the next card and it's free. Perfect for us. Perfect. Because you can see what's incoming. Combine and play this. Most likely. Yeah, so we're going to combine. Play this. First draw cards. Okay, now play this. Guaranteed. And now we can see what the next card is, right? Oh, the attack speed. So for two mana... I draw the 3 mana card, and I play it for free. Perfect. Combine rocks. Uh, whatever. Unholy damage, and let's keep that there. 
And let's go. Very nice, very nice. And now we're actually doing even more damage. I have a tower that does 100 plus. I already can combine these into a legendary if I need to. I mean, I don't need to. Because from times 8 and times 8, it's going to go up to times 12. Therefore, decreasing our overall DPS. We definitely do not want to combine these. As long as I can maintain them not getting combined. A tier 3 went off. Um, Impulsing gravitational field, pulling center towards the center. This is a spell. I don't want to find it ever again. Might as well go with cooldowns. So I'm, I'm going to play this so it removes itself from the pool of items that exist. Holy and Hellfire, of course. We're going to go another tower. Please give me, please give me another one. Holy MG green, please. I want to be playing these. And we are at greed. Greed kills me most of the time. So let's see if we're going to survive this time. Damage, money, unholy damage. Let's see what's incoming. The spell is incoming and a rock. So I would say we keep the damage and we literally bin the rest. So we're going to draw all three of these. No, I'm going to combine this holy with the timer. So we're going to just bin these three. Send them. Send them. Nice. We play the gravitational. We see what this becomes. Health regen. I mean, between these choices, health regen is the only real choice. Rock does nothing, instantly banish. And let's play with this and this. So now we have also a bit of health regen. Not that it matters, because if opponents start hitting you, the run is over. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that's true. <laughs> when the opponents start actually touching your tower, like, all of them are gonna touch your tower. It's not like one at a time. We're slowing opponents down, very nice. I need to increase my damage, but I mean, actually, I am increasing my damage. What's incoming? The card was incoming, and the 20% attack speed is incoming. So, I would say we just re-roll my hand. Yeah, and we have two rocks, most likely. Yeah, we roll the hand. What's incoming now? Bless. And then a Holy MG. So if I draw Bless, I can play on Holy MG. Therefore, we're gonna play Phrase B, draw two cards. And then for three mana, uh, attack speed. And then for two mana, I know that the Unholy MG is incoming. So for two mana, I'm gonna draw the Unholy MG and play it for free. How awesome is this? I love this. And then also health regen and money is useless. So let's upgrade them. These are all useless for us, so I'm gonna just take whatever. Like, uh, I don't know, Fueled by Light. This is completely useless. All of these are useless. And just increase the damage and keep that for maybe combining later. I'm gonna combine tier 4s again and there. It's once again going to be this sad time. It's actually... This is magnetism. This is almost as if it's stunning opponents. I need range oh no opponents are coming in oh no it's we, we have issues trips and damage incoming what's the incoming cards three rocks wow just wow i guess i would like to rotate through my rocks let's go here let's keep this and let's rotate four cards okay yeah, what's incoming bless and attack speed definitely draw cards yeah, i mean i cannot rotate anyway bless is looking at a uh, attack speed 15 percent so I would say 30% damage and yeah, 30% damage and 15% attack speed is better than 20% attack speed. Actually, I could either go 20% attack speed and 15% attack speed or 30% damage and 20%. Let's go with combined cards first. We found the armor. I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to say we play the damage and we play the draw the next card, which is going to be attack speed and play the attack speed and play the damage. And this attack speed is not going to get played, but it's okay. We have a decent... Is the attack speed at the point I, I thought... Nope, it's still not where I want it to be. Opponents are incoming. Oh, oh. Panic, 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 panic. If, if we start losing life, it's over. If one opponent hits us, all of them are going to hit us. Woo! Unholy MG tier 3, let's go. I found this again, by the way. Useless. Unholy MG tier 3, once again, skipping a level. Very nice. If green and blue is here. So you stay there. What's incoming? Attack speed's incoming. I don't want to actually do anything with that. So I would say we play this and this and just keep as is. I could combine these though instead of... No, let's let, let's let this rotate. So we're going to go here and here. You know, combine those. Nice. And you're going to stay there. You're going to go in the deck. So now I theoretically should get more damage, right? Because I just combined a couple of things. Nice. Elites are incoming, but we should have... Yeah, we're actually try slowly uh, making them be further and further out. Yeah, we're getting the kills faster than they actually can do anything for it. Elites, dead, dead. Nice. 20% attack speed, most likely is going to get played. 3% damage is also most likely going to get played. What's incoming? Praise B is incoming, and Bless is incoming. So, I would say we keep this and this. We re-roll them. Okay, now can see what's incoming. 50% attack speed is incoming. 
and also a rock is incoming. So if I'm gonna play Bless, I should play it now. So I'm thinking we play Bless, we play Praise B, and we play Attack Speed. And uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So we go Bless, Attack Speed for free. Draw a car two cards, which are rocks. Play the, this attack speed. And now we go with combine the rocks. Whatever. All of these are trash. Combine these useless stuff. All these are also trash. But now I can just leave it there and we have another card going through. I do still enjoy this 30% damage. This is actually really good. This builder thing really carried us. 30% <clears throat> damage is literally how much damage you gain from a tier 4 unholy damage upgrade. And that is a tier 3 upgrade. Look at this, look how the tower looks. I love it, I love it. These are my easiest patterns, by the way, these loop-de-loops. One opponent at a time. What's incoming? A rock and a tier three. Man, I love that the bless with this character is so good. Tier four. I mean, first of all, the stays. And I would like to combine the 15% attack speed with the garrison and then with his tower. Although that might not be the best way of playing this. I want to draw exactly one card and then play this for free with a bless. That's also not really the best way of playing this. I think I should just throw everything out. Draw four cards. It's gonna draw me the builder, it's gonna draw me that. If it's gonna draw me the protection, then I can play the bless instead. So, draw three cards. Yeah, keep the bless. I might draw this, I might draw this. We might draw a bunch of stuff. Yeah, let's just throw the things we have in hand away. Although, there is a rock incoming, so I can keep the rock. Combine the rocks. Draw these three. Combine the rocks. Get a green card. I'm not exactly sure. Combine the rocks. I, I need to always combine rocks if I can do so. Okay, that's gonna stay there. We're gonna go and heal MG, obviously. And I would say damage. Because we have a better attack speed than this one. Damage is still more important in my mind. I need my attacks to be doing one-shot damage. Like, I need my attacks to do a thousand. Also, I'm not sure if damage multiplies with unholy damage because I haven't invested to do a single unholy damage upgrade. So if that's multiplicative, we definitely should do that. This is a shop. Whoa, unholy MG. Let's definitely buy that. Okay, these are useless. I'm gonna roll once and then I'm gonna keep the money for the rest of the run. Unique. Half of all unholy damage is converted to holy. Completely useless. Okay, we're gonna keep the money then. Unholy damage, thank you. Thank you, that was a very nice damage boost. I'm once again not really sure if it's multiplicative, a tower damage with holy damage. If it is, obviously godlike. What's incoming? Unholy MG. Uh, this is. Okay, unholy MG and rock. So I'm not gonna reroll this time. I'm gonna just straight up draw cards. I'm gonna combine the rocks. We found the shield again, a bit unlucky. Let's uh, play the shield, I would say. First of all, let's combine. This is gonna decrease our DPS. Eight, eight times eight times eight is 16. And a green version is plus three. So it's gonna be, from 16, we will do 12 times damage. And then plus three is 15. So we're gonna lose one multiplier on damage. But of course, we're gonna continue gaining towers. So this, play the armor so it's gone. Combine these two. Get mana. Yes, yes. From one mana, we go to three. Boom. And now because I have three mana, 20% attack speed. Let's go. That was such a nice roll. And that from one mana, that thing, the from one mana, you go to three is really good when you control what you're drawing. So I really enjoy this. This character is so cool, man. The highest skill cap, I would say. I mean, I haven't seen the other three characters. But this character definitely is nice with the skill cap issues. Uh, okay, two unholy MGs appeared. So let's see what's incoming. I mean, this is going to get combined with something. I would say we just play the Unholy MGs and that's it. Very simplistic here. Just actually keep... Oh, I can make them into a blue one, which I don't want to do right now. If I draw these two, I can combine two rocks. This is not going to do anything. I cannot combine two rocks. Yeah, I cannot combine two rocks. Mm hey, this is what it is. Combine. Play. Play. This is useless. Go. It is what it is. Sometimes we cannot get the god turns. Oh, we're really good here. We're doing 70 damage on my weaker end and 100 and something damage. Man, I now, I now need range so I can start hitting from farther away so we are increase our DPS. Range is also important for this character. And Garrison, blue. I just need to get range once, by the way. So what we draw. What's incoming? 
mana and bless and attack speed. Whoa, these three are god cards. So just getting these three is already insane. And then the bless is gonna hit one of these. Ah, the bless is gonna be weak. Uh, card draw is definitely staying. This tier three I want to combine with, I guess, this one. I can't get that deep, to be honest. So if I reroll these, I'm gonna draw these two. And then if I draw two cards, it's gonna be this and hopefully one of these three. Which I can see which is gonna be. So I'm gonna take the gamble. Gambling time. Bless and charge. And Dark Pike is fourth, so we didn't get the pest this thing. We can't really draw it. But Bless literally can hit the, the this one, so we're really lucky on that end. Therefore, Bless. Okay, fast hands is free. Two cards drawn. It's these two. This is a tier three once again useless. So we're gonna get attack speed. Yeah, we can't really do anything here to be honest. I guess we card draw so we get faster than Holy MGs. I only care about the Unholy MGs. And uh, yeah, I don't really want to combine these. The mana is really good with the card draw I have and with the control I have. Right now it didn't really come out because I have trash cards. But if these were not trash cards, I could have played this and then maybe played more. Like I could play, like I could play this, then play this, then play that. Like it could have gone so much better. So I think it should stay in the deck. There's this three cost that needs to go. Alongside this three cost and the four cost. We have some bad cards in the deck. But we have a decent amount of control. That's the good thing with this character. Like, even if you have trash in the deck, you still have a, a good amount of control over what exactly you are playing and drawing. So I really enjoy this. You don't get more cards, but you get specifically the cards you want. Damage. This needs to get combined with a tier three. And there is a tier three right here. So you stay. And I would say you stay. And I'm most likely going to play the damage. And the attack speed. So we roll them. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. No, stone's not incoming. So, so we keep these. Boom. Now we're gonna combine the useless one with the useless two. That's what I want. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Fast firing machine gun tower. On the tier four. So I think we keep this in the deck rotating around to get another legendary when the time comes. Or I can just combine these and just throw this in instantly. Hmm. Hmm, hmm. I'm thinking I should try to go for the legendary. I think I should try to go. So this is gonna rotate all the time. Yeah, let's leave it rotating. Who cares? I have throwing cards away mechanic. Damage, attack speed. Let's keep it there for now. If I see that I'm dying, I'm gonna play it. Whoa! We almost got them. We almost got them. The stun for some reason is disabled. Let's go. I have armor even. Yeah, I don't even have a last a single point of life. We're good, we're good. What's incoming? An unholy MG is incoming, which I'm obviously gonna play. A bless we have a bless so I can draw this. Dark pike tier 4, that's useless. Do I have anything to combine that with? No. Yeah, that thing needs to get removed from the deck. Let's throw these two in. Okay. So I'm gonna bless this. Yeah, bless draw that and two cards these. I think we're good. I'm not going to play this on Holy MG. So, bless. Nice. Zero cost. One mana. 20% attack speed. And this four card needs to go. And this can stay there just to combine with something else. Uh, I need to get my four cards in. I guess that one cost gives you three mana might not be the thing I need. I already got the bless, which is really good. And I can manipulate what the bless is going to hit. So, I think I should just combine... Let's see what we find. Review three cards, middle always. The three cost guaranteed and uh, whatever. We're gonna combine this anyway. And they're gonna go into my main deck, so instantly draw them. Okay, so between these choices, luck gives you higher stuff, but I would say we just go for another extra slot. Luck is good. Luck increases your chance to get higher quality cards whenever drawing cards from the collection. But you draw cards in the collection only at the end of each turn and in the shop. This is DPS. Let's go DPS. Let's go DPS. We have two green and holy MGs in the deck, so we definitely need more void. And now that I'm thinking about it, I'm just going to play the purple one when I, it appears again. Uh, blue card, green card, so let's go Dark Pike plus this. 30% damage and removes itself from the deck. I guess. What's incoming? Unholy MG tier 4. No, I'm going to not play this. We're going to combine these. I want to get rid of the Dark Pike. Unholy MG tier 4. No! <laughs> Uh, I mean, yes, of course, but... 
Oof. Yeah, we're going to take this, obviously. And we're going to also draw that. I, I'm not going to draw that. So we're going to play this and this. And let's go. And next turn, I'm going to combine this one, too. I'm just going to get my things in order. I'm just going to get my Unholy MGs. Just play them all, get them out of the deck, be done with it. Nice, nice, nice. We became very powerful here. Very powerful. I'm doing 300 damage here per hit. And our Unholy MG, obviously, we're going to play that. What's incoming? A rock's incoming. So I would say we keep the bless. Oh, this is a 40% attack speed. Well, I would say we play these two. Therefore, another Unholy MG. Uh, now I'm going to play two Unholy MGs. Throw this out. And I'm not going to play the builder. So I, next card, next turn I'm going to have these three plus something else. Which is a decent hand to have. So I would say just throw these out. Bless is going to draw a rock as the issue. That's why I don't want to play this. Although, I can make Bless hit the boulder. Nah, that's also not really possible. The only thing I can... Yeah, yeah, let's just send them. Send them so that these three come in. Nice. Play down Holy MG. Play down Holy MG. And we're just becoming more powerful. Attack speed. Let's go. We're just becoming more powerful here. All my unholy MGs are legendary up. Let's go, let's go, let's go, 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 go. I mean, if it's gonna be like two blues and all the other legendaries, I'm good. Let's see what's incoming. Unholy MG and 20% attack speed. Bless is here, so I can draw the 20% attack speed for free. And then also play the Bless B. Praise B, yes. And I also have mana to then get even more cards to play. Yeah, I think we're good. So we first play Bless. Wait, I need to do this in a specific order. I play Bless. This is free. I play Praise B. I go down to 3 mana. Well, then this is not usable. Hmm. That's weird. Hmm. Hmm. Well, let's do it. Doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if I don't use my ability. Bless. This is free. Throw two cards. And Holy MG is here. These combine... We also lose DPS on this combination, by the way. Plus 6, plus 6. This is 12 damage. When I combine them, it's plus 8. And then plus 3 from this, it's actually 11. So we lose a bit of damage, but I still combine. And the uh, unholy damage up. I think the time has come to combine these. They're borderline not playable. Let's see what I get at tier 4. At range. Thank you. Thank you! Attack range. Yes, now I have attack range. Because attack range was the one thing I was missing from the deck. And now we're gonna just start upgrading my stats. Like damage, attack speed, and range. Damage, attack speed, and range. That's it. Damage, attack speed, and range. We want to be covering the whole screen. I want to be up everything from the whole board. This is the highest DPS. Um, cards on the deck one. I guess the attack speed. But do I even have green cards in the deck at this point? I'm not sure if I even have green cards in the deck. And Holy MG is here again. Attack range is here again. That's incoming. Two rocks are incoming. This is a useless card. Will it ever get combined with something? I might just banish this. So let's play the Unholy MG and the range. Well, if that's the case, we're going to draw two rocks and the attack speed green. I would say we're going to draw two rocks and the attack speed green. And now we're going to just do this. Doesn't matter because it's going to get combined with the attack speed green. Mana. Mm, I mean, between these choices, mana is the only one that actually does something. Let's go here and here. Especially because I have two costs in the deck. That's what I'm thinking. When you have two costs, then the one mana get three mana is... Not get three mana. It's one mana go up to three mana is useful. Otherwise, it isn't. I would have preferred it if... If it literally was... If you have one mana, you gain two mana. It would have been better than from one mana going to three. Because now you have to specifically play it perfectly. What's incoming? As always, card draw rocks... Mm, I have another Unholy MG here. We cannot combine anymore. So now I need to combine the two Unholy MGs into a blue one and then combine it with this and that and get legendaries. Mm, not really the best choice. I guess I just need to find a blue Unholy MG. So attack speed here, that's gonna get played. Tier 4 pike. I guess I can draw a Praise B and two rocks. Yeah, Praise B and two rocks is decent. What's incoming? Divine side, perfect. The range and the damage. So we'll combine the rocks. These are useless. I guess go with damage and keep it there. So I take attack speed, praise B, mana most likely. 
and build a roar range. I, I want range, guaranteed range. So I want to min-max this as much as possible. I need to go down to one mana. If I go down to one mana, I can play the builder alongside everything too. So three plus one. No. One plus two is three. And then another, no. Plus one is four. This is guaranteed getting played. And now with this, mm, I, I I cannot see how we can play both. I mean, I want to play the range. I don't want to play the damage. And I want to play the attack speed. So I'm going to say range and this. Like, it's, it's done. Yeah, it wouldn't really change anything. Even if I played the three cost first and then the one cost, we still would have gone down to zero. So it's the same thing. I would like to combine these. Do I? Do I? This is actually my only uh, way of getting damage. I'm not. I don't want to combine them. Do the attack now how I wanted them to? Uh, seems like it. I mean, not really. Oh, we're gonna increase my. If I increase range, I would say five more times. It's gonna be global. Obviously, I want global range. Okay, bless. Okay, bless is gonna draw this one. So this is gonna get combined. This on holy MG is useless at this point. I'm gonna have one on Holy MG in the deck. I don't need to have two. So let's combine them. Upgrade. I couldn't combine them into. No, no, no. So attack speed. Let's see what's incoming. Once again, it's this. So, Bless Days. Actually, I want to play Bless. But I might. Yeah, I want to play Bless. If I play Bless, I'm not gonna be able to do the rerolls. It's okay. Play Bless. Get attack speed. Get attack speed. Get damage. And this can be whatever. It's okay. It's okay. We got like 35% attack speed with you. Boss run coming. Zoop, everything just melts. Zoop, everything just melts. Look at our tower. Look at it. Look at it. Fire. Oh, it's 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 this part of Heresy where nothing happens. We three cards. Oh no, that was such a good card. No. Take this. Take the range. We just lost a, such a good card. I mean, I could have forced... Yeah, um, I could have forced combining two Unholy MGs into a legendary Unholy MG, into a blue one. I could have forced that. So maybe I should have done that. And especially now that I got another tower slot. Eh, whatever. Unholy MG is here. What's incoming? A rock and a pickaxe. Uh, theoretically, I should be able to play most of them. So I would say... Ooh. If I play this and this, I can then play this and this. But I'm not going to have enough mana to play anything. I can play the rock, though. And this is going to just rotate away. Yeah, let's do that. So we go this, this, get mana, draw two cards, and still useless. Doesn't make sense. Yeah, the time has come for the one mana give you three to go out of the deck. I said it's useful when you have two costs, which is still true. But it's not useful when you have one cost. So... That aspect was not really, really good going well. We got our little tower here destroying everything. There's more range. Fine here. He's less. What's incoming? Tower MG. I want to play this. Yes, I do. I want to play this. And I want to combine this with something else and then with that with something else too. So I would say we keep this. Nah, let's just combine. Combine, 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 combine. No, 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 combine, combine. Go, 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 go. Useless. Uh, completely useless hand today. All future banish of X X rays. These are all useless. But but I can have this here now. That's what I wanted to do. And because I have it there now, I can now combine it with the other tier four. And if it's for bin, then it's for bin. I don't care. We still try to rotate through everything, of course. Opponents can't even come close to us. Look at how awesome this is. Man, I love this tower. Uh, okay, tier 4 with tier 4 combined, first and foremost. Yes, more projectiles. I'm kidding, of course. Fast Fire Machine Gun Tower, Unholy Legendary Final Version. Da -da -da -dun -da -da -dun -dun. That's the actual goat there. Uh, I'm gonna keep it here. That's the next card. Bless is incoming. And Divine Light. Nah, we're gonna go with Machine Gun and this. The next turn, we're gonna get Bless and Divine Light. Expert can go. I can combine these and those and play a legendary. Which I don't want to do, of course. I can combine these and just play legendary. Okay, I mean... These are all useless, but it's a tier 3, so I'm going to put it in the deck so we get 
more of them. I don't care about spells. Look at the opponents just going into the range. Hey, they're actually surviving. This is the slowest the game can be, and look how fast they're firing. <laughs> this is the slowest possible thing the game can be, and they're like, doof, 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 fire, 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 range. Once incoming, appraise B, one cost. Make it the zero cost. Uh, okay, so I can play Bless. I can play Divine Light. This thing. S have this in the side. I mean, we're closing into the end of the game, that's why. And mana, I would say. And we draw Brace B and Builder. Play this and this, and the Builder. And this. Yeah, we play these three plus Builder. Yeah, I do enjoy that. So, throw these out. Come back to this. Now I'm gonna say... We combine. We play you. We play you. We get mana. We play you. Nice. See? Go. And now... And now... Oh, look at how this looks! Look at how awesome this looks! Look at how awesome this looks! Let's be a bit closer. Da -da 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 Maybe that's gonna be the thumbnail or something. Look at this. Love it, love it. I'm having fun. 200 damage. A war and unholy MG again. I mean that unholy MG is gonna destroy my damage. We're gonna not destroy, it's gonna just reduce it by a smidge. Yeah, we're gonna most likely combine. So a rock. 10% and unholy MG. First of all. If I draw two cards, it's gonna draw these two cards, play the Unholy MG, play Charge Up, and then play the Attack Speed. And the Unholy. Yeah, that's what we're gonna go. Draw two cards, combine, play this, gain mana, play Attack Speed, play Unholy, go. Nice, love it. Destroy the opponents, we're doing 300 something damage. 322. I never got Holy Damage up, by the way. <laughs> I never got that holy damage upgrade thing. Look at this madness. And I see how they shoot. Look, they, they literally shoot as I said I wanted them to look at. I love it. I want range. Here it is. Mine rocks. Crits on one holy. Okay, might as well keep it. Bless is incoming. Mm, yeah, I'm just gonna play my stuff. Pass. Pass. There is also an achievement on getting a bunch of crits, so I think I should try to get some crit chance up, because we're shooting so fast that even a 3% crit chance- Oh no! What's happening? What's happening? Yo, how much DPS did we lose? This is not possible! What is happening? Oh, it was the boss stage. Woo! It was the boss stage. Whoa, man. I was super duper anxious there. Obviously, it was heard in my voice. Tier 5. Useless. I guess a tier 2. I want to see what happens if I press 1 and then skip. You lose them all. Okay, devs, you need to fix that. Uh, 20 luck, HP regen or max life? I would say luck. I don't care about the HP regen. We literally have all this armor. And now we have 800. Wow, that was so exciting, you think? Uh, let's combine. Mm, useless. What's incoming? A builder is incoming. I want to get my crit chance. As I said, there is an achievement to get like 2,000 crits or something. This 3% crit chance, we're attacking so often, it's gonna literally give my crits the crits I want. Builder, invigoration. I could keep this in the side, throw both of these out, get the builder and the invigoration, combine them. Do I want to combine them? I don't think I want to combine them. I could combine these two, and then whatever comes with the attack speed. Nah, I want to play this. <laughs> And, uh, I mean, 50% attack speed with 3% damage. I'm gonna go 3% damage. Let me still keep this in the side, so we maybe combine it with something later. Okay, now we'll have, like, a 3% chance to crit, which, obviously, is gonna give us enough crits to get 2,000 crits that the game wants. Because, how will I get 2,000 crits with 3% crit chance? I need to do, like, 10,000 attacks or something. Maybe more. 20,000 attacks. We will do them. We're attacking so fast. What's incoming? This. Okay. I mean, this turn is definitely gonna be Unholy MG and range, and that's it. So we're gonna just do that. And uh, let's go. Praise B is gonna draw me these, which I don't really want to draw right now. Because I want to play them next turn. We continue passing. Look how cool this looks. Look how cool this looks. I love it. Can I see this in slow motion? Not really. <laughs> yep. Let's go on. Speed the game up. 
I'm gonna make the range be literally global. And then you're not gonna even see anything on the map. You're literally not gonna see anything on the map. Let's see what we get. Oh, range. Mm, do I have another green range in the deck? I don't think we have another green range. Let's get the tier 3. Continue combining stuff. Then you're combining stuff. We've got the attack speed. We've got the combined thing. We've got the rock. What's incoming? We don't know what's incoming. Uh, I would say we play this and attempt to combine this. So let's reroll. Okay. So now I'm gonna say we go with range and crit chance. And now I have a 6% crit chance. And that is still staying there. So with a 6% crit chance, I think we should be able to uh, get the achievement on the crits. On the crits. The, oh, everything is dying exactly on the line of my range, by the way. Look at this. We have a little circle all around the place. All over the place. 3% damage and 3% attack speed. Or we'll just combine these. I'm gonna say combine them. We need to leave. When I play a card, you have a chance to draw a card 10%. You know what? Yes, I never had that. And I actually want to play this right now. Okay. Please allow me to leave it there. Well, mistakes were made. Attack speed. I could have re-rolled the things and... Ah, oh, I should have. I should have. No, I, I should not. Actually, I played this correctly. Go. And the, by the way, the next... Literally, the next tower income... I, I literally am in, regretting the second green card. You have two green cards in the deck. The Sin Spotter, the Unholy Crit, and the Unholy MG. Let's get more range. You see, my range is expanding. Level up. That was the final level. Money shot. This is a shop, so let's, let's not randomly click. 20% attack speed again. I don't need more. I would like to get the unholy crits because I can combine two of them into an unholy crit. What did we get? Nope. This is cool, by the way. Roll them. Roll them. This is the final shop of the game, so I should waste all my money. Draw three cards and choose one to duplicate. Honestly, no. Shuffle away. Let's see what we can get. Mm, no. Still, tier 5 tower, I'm seeing it, but. We don't need it. I'm just playing this slowly, just not miss anything. And we found 6% on holy crit chance. I'm gonna take this. Crit chance is multiplicative, by the way, right? So 6% crit chance pretty much means I'm not gonna need the money, as I said. Fun on a holy tower MG. I could. You know what? I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna combine it with the other holy tower MG. Yeah, we're gonna now try to get what I want to get. Okay, these are all useless, therefore we're gonna go HP regen. I'm an unholy build. So now I can combine the two unholy MGs into a blue one. Therefore, I'm going to get a purple one. Whoa, that was so awesome. The start was so awesome. Okay, so for example, this is an unholy MG. Here it is. So I can I can do the combine combination right now. I can just draw this, combine them. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Draw them, combine them into a blue one. Boom. Done. That's a guaranteed, by the way, what I just did there. And uh, what's the best going to draw? We don't know. But we don't have any other choice. Might as well draw it. I'm not going to play the Sin Spotters because I want to combine the two Unholies into one. Here it is. Here's the other one. So let's go with Unholy MG. And next one is this. I don't want to combine them, as I said. Because this exists. Yes. I, I can control my hand enough to be able to get exactly what I want. Best tower in the game. I mean, it's definitely not the best tower in the game. But it's really powerful. Man, anything that gets in the range is dead. Anything. You get in my attack range, you're toast. More attack range, more damage. What's the next card? Rocks. Mm. Well, because I'm going to play these two, might as well go for a couple of rock combos. Okay, these are useless. Let's leave it there. Range and damage. More range. Yep, now my line is here. I'm waiting for the line to be literally the whole screen. Will I be able to do it in time? I don't think I will be. Treachery is the final one. I don't think I will be. But I love this, man. What an awesome tower. <laughs> Monkey brain and holy wind tier 5. I mean, these are all useless for us. Uh, I mean, these are literally all useless for us. So I'm going to skip. Okay, what's incoming? Nothing. Draw two cards randomly. Or keep the two cards in the attack speed and just roll the rest. Yeah, I think that's better. Keep these two. Throw this out. Oh, I almost made a mistake. This is here. What's incoming this time? Ah, this is incoming. So nice. So we're gonna go card draw. Combine this with this. Upgrade into this. 6%. And I'm gonna say we go for the 6%. Yes. 
Boom. And now look at this. One mana up to three. And now even more attack speed. What oh, damage? Attack speed. I don't know if there was an achievement for attack speed. But I want more attack speed. Look at this. At times one speed, they are exactly like I wanted them to be. Oh, let's go look at this awesome tower. It's as if it's dancing. It's as if it's dancing. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. It looks so cool. Come on. Please allow me to get the full screen clear. Okay, another another one. Holy MG is incoming, so I can bless that and get range. Bl yeah, instead of playing this... No, no, no. I'm gonna play this and this. Yeah, and I'm not gonna play bless because we're getting the unholy again anyway. They're, they do not combine further, by the way. Boom, boom. Go. I'm not gonna draw it. Look at this. <gasps> Look at this! Looks so cool! Looks so cool. <laughs> <laughs> Crystal clear the best tower in the game. No, it's not the best tower in the game, obviously. 0% damage. Tower projected pierce, imagine. Uh, I'm gonna skip. I do enjoy my deck. I don't need anything else. Crit chance, straight up. Combine those. <coughs> useless. Combine these. Also useless. Uh, I guess leave it there. Play the crits. Go. Nah, I could have. Nah, I made a mistake. Nah, no, it, I didn't because the next card is mana. If the next card was not mana, I should have actually keep, kept my card in the side and reshuffle the other card and draw another thing to play it. That's how good this character is. Literally, you, you don't waste things. I mean, I, I wasted a bit here, but you know what I mean. Uh, what's the next? Spammer, useless. So, uh, I'm gonna just play the two cards we have. Attack speed and damage, and that's it. Or, 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 we do this. First of all, you know what I'm gonna do? Combine. Combine this thing with this thing. AoE. Okay, now you can stay there. And uh, you two. Gonna be in the side. Roll them. Because I don't want to draw this again. And now we're gonna go damage on that. Da -da 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 -da. Literally cover the whole screen. Literally nothing is even a moving. Look at them. They are in my circle. If you're on the map, you're already overstepping your boundaries. <laughs> uh -huh. Destroy everything. We're gonna get all my achievements that we want. And that's gonna be the last turn here. Let's min max a bit more just out of principle. So I'm gonna say we keep less. We keep crit chance. Throw these away. And now we play... What is the bless? Praise B. Praise B is gonna draw my range. I want to draw range. So I'm gonna say we play Bless. We play Bless. We play Praise B for zero. We play the three mana. We play the mana. And we play the range. Because I want to cover the whole map. Another turn. Hey, look, this is the final wave. They are trying. They are trying. I'm not seeing them achieve anything, though. Yeah, they're trying their best. You imagine if we lose exactly at this very final moment. <gasps> it really feels like we're gonna lose at this very final moment. Although I have 1060 health, so... What is happening? What? What? Yo! Yo, we're gonna die! What? What? We died! We lose! We lose! We lost! We lost! We lost! We lost! Unbelievable! What? <laughs> Unbelievable! Unbelievable! What? No way! No way we lost this! No way we lost this! No way! No! I'm so disappointed! At least give me unlocks. No! At least this happened, okay? And I, I, I got the achievement I wanted to get. I'm happy about it. I tried to get the crit chance up, by the way. And this is 20,000 crits. Okay, I'm happy about the fact that I reached treachery using only Unholy MG, man. I'm so happy about this fact. Oof! Oof, oof. Unholy pill star one and unholy tower. Any unholy critical hits change the tower charge the tower faster. Oh, that's a crit build. Ooh, I could do a crit build tomorrow. Wow, wow, unbelievable. All workers, please take five minutes to check the inbox. Okay, what's the inbox? It's most likely gonna be some kind of event. I hate bubbles. Please sign my petition. If we get six hundred signatures, CEO. Oh, what is this? Let's also make it clickbait. <laughs> so, uh, 
the, you, if you go back to the start of the video, you're gonna see this was not what I painted. So the game is painting you over, and it took me a while to paint the other one, so I'm a bit sad about that. But it is what it is, man. Unbelievable that we lost there. Unbelievable. Hope you guys enjoyed. As always, thanks for watching, and see you guys around. What an awesome one. I, I love this so much, but the loss. Bye-bye. <laughs>